and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Good morning, it's uh, 6.15 on Thursday 28th of May, just on the way down to the land. As always we'll be making it up as we go along so I'm not quite sure how much we'll get done today but let's find out. Well, here we are down on the land and first things first a few people asked in the comments section to see how the cabin looked from the roadside well this is how it looks it's uh, the colors toned down an awful lot clearly the polytunnel still stands out because <laughs> it's shiny plastic but um, yeah the cabin itself is uh, blending in now everything else looking very very nice as yet if there's no sun peeking out which is good news <laughs> given the last few days that we've had down here it's been awfully hot um, but unfortunately or fortunately depending which way you look at it uh, the forecast is for sun through the rest of this week so I guess we'll find out later well, first things first, I've just opened up the polytunnel uh, for a change, there's no wind, so I can leave that door open today. Surprising how much heat stirs in that from overnight. Quick run round the vegetables. Uh, Jerusalem artichoke, somebody said in the comments section, how are they getting on? They've had a little bit of uh, <laughs> sunburn this last few days, but they're doing fine. Um, there's a new addition, I've just plumped it out into the field, it's not planted yet, I've just brought it this morning. There's a, a cherry tree there to go in, which will go with the, uh, the two apple trees that are already in. So that's going to be nice. There's a couple of other smaller plants uh, to go in the polytunnel. There's a little fig tree there. And there's a tired looking blueberry brush <laughs> so they've got to go in today uh, raised beds looking fine you saw those yesterday as I left so I won't dwell on those and similarly the polytunnel uh, as you can see cucumbers marching on a pace now we've actually got tendrils coming for the first time so they're going to want some attention this week. Tomatoes doing well. These tomatoes do need potting out. I'm going to have to just bite the bullet and get on with those today. Uh, everything else pretty much as it was yesterday. Including the carrots which are now starting to come through and they're getting their true leaves rather than their seedling leaves. So that's good. Won't be long before they're going out either. Uh, anyway, I need to get cracking. Lots I wanted to do today. As always, not quite sure what we will get done. Sun is now starting to make an appearance. So let's get cracking and see what we can do today. Maybe a surprise or two in store. Well, we're on with planting this uh, cherry tree. That I brought down today, got loads of bits and pieces, got a load of water there to pop in. I've got the hole dug out and just minced up a bit of this uh, soil that's in the ground. <coughs> then to complement that, got a bit of root grow to go in the bottom of the hole, uh, some normal compost to mix in with uh, the spoil that came out of the hole and I'll mix a little bit of compost, sorry, a little bit of uh, organic fertiliser in there as well. So, let's get uh, this baby popped in and see how we get on.
how hard this ground is. <laughs> this uh, last week or so of sun has really dried everything out. <sighs> but we have to keep plodding on. We'll get there eventually. Okay. <clears throat> get this baby in the hole. Feeding this in. <laughs> now the art is to get it so that it's standing up straight. Hopefully, we'll achieve that. If anything, I want it slightly leaning back towards the prevailing wind to give it a bit of a fighting chance. Right, that's the compost in. You just give that a little bit more around there and that can then soak in. down And I think that will just about do it. So there we go, <coughs> there's the tree in. I'll just pop a little bit more water on top of that now, clear away, and uh, we'll get back to business as usual. So the cherry tree's in. <laughs> You can't see because it it's buried amongst all the other trees. <laughs> so unless you knew which one it was, um, it's kind of that little one there. Uh, you wouldn't know. So I've got these two of the uh, pots to uh, sort out. There's a blueberry bush and a fig tree. I'm going to pop these into pots inside the polytunnel uh, just to get them a bit of a, a head start. I suspect the fig might have to stay in there over winter. Not really sure, but we'll find out, I guess, as the year goes by. Well, this is all very therapeutic, <laughs> first thing in the morning. Um, as you can probably tell by the, the lighting, the sun has come out. It's blazing behind me on the back of my neck. Uh, but I wanted to get these out of the way first thing before it got too silly. Um, so I've got my pots, same principle, bit of rooting powder in there. I'm going to pop these into their final pots. It won't need fertilising because it's uh, it's a decent compost that I've got there to fill these up. Uh, got my cup of coffee on standby, so I'll just get these popped in, and uh, jobs are good. Un. Well, <clears throat> I just couldn't resist <laughs> since I was in potting mode. Uh, I've done that blueberry and the fig. They're in the pots. 
couldn't resist getting some more of these tomatoes out into pots um, I've also done some in these little container tray type uh, things because some people have asked me for uh, various plants so there's some pumpkin there and some tomato there uh, also popped another little raised bed it's actually a big pot uh, out on the field here that's got pumpkin and squash in alongside the uh, Jerusalem artichokes so lots of potting done this morning <laughs> all I need to do now most importantly is uh, give them all a good watering to get them off to a good start so progress already well <laughs> the polytunnel is looking a bit fuller now uh, I've watered everything thoroughly just got a couple of little pots of strawberries popped out into the front of the polytunnel I'll uh, pop those in the polytunnel later I'll let them get some sun for now uh, so yeah everything's looking okay so it's time to just have a sit with a cup of coffee before I launch into the big stuff <laughs> and the sun is now quite bright in the sky uh, so I think I'm going to get a bit hot and sweaty but for now I'm just going to sit and chill and admire the greenery around me which I have to say is very nice so I was talking about a mystery box earlier and this is it it's actually two boxes <laughs> um, but essentially I was talking to a channel subscriber called Greg and we were discussing security at the cabin and what I could do to help protect it a little bit and I was talking to him about the possibility of installing some wireless CCTV at the cabin uh, and as it happens Greg works for an electrical installation company called Platinum who do all kinds of fire CCTV and access control systems and after a bit of discussion uh, he managed kindly to source this CCTV for me um, so many thanks to Greg and Platinum for your help with this if anybody needs that kind of work doing check out their website and here's the CCTV install from today we're standing on the garage roof <laughs> at least I know it takes the weight because we're going to install a CCTV camera just to keep an eye on the cabin and it's powered by solar to a Wi-Fi router inside the cabin which I'll show you in a bit that's the solar panel installed on the cabin roof which feeds into the back of the camera which is currently looking down at the door of the cabin very nice that's how it looks from the cabin door so it's permanently wired into the solar panel so it's got power forever it's plugged into a little car Wi-Fi dongle which I've got plugged into this USB, uh, USB this 12 volt power outlet which is obviously linked to the batteries so that's permanent because that's on solar as well so that should in theory run forever and send me pictures back to my smartphone if anybody walks past it and I can also talk to them and hear them off the camera as well so I'm really pleased with that and good solar as well by the way <laughs> today very happy summer is supposed to be weatherproof but just to be on the safe side I've just bobbed a little box round it uh, just to keep the worst of the elements off especially where the uh, solar panel plugs in at the back but that's a uh, nice little job I've just pulled the uh, little red tractor out the garage you'll remember the other day I finished painting everything else and got the doors on uh, but I'd run out of paint I had a little bit left to do on the uh, cabin extension so I've now got a new tin of paint <laughs> so it's time to start painting again 
Um, I won't give you a blow by blow account. I'll just show you stuff uh, once sections are finished. Um, sun is mega bright again, so I'm going to be sweating for the next uh, few hours. <laughs> so bear with me. But the objective is to get that done. Well, that's the uh, rear of the cabin extension done. I might just run over quickly that door with a second coat, not sure, but uh, I think it could probably benefit from one. And then of course we've got <laughs> the tractor garage to do inside and outside of the doors and there is a bit uh, inside the garage where the uh, wall of the original cabin is that's still cedar colour so I'll do that as well. So a few more hours of painting but we're getting there. Progress is progress. Well, as usual, this is taking forever, but that's the first garage door done. That's the outside and the inside. So that's nice. Just this other one to knock in and I can get out of this sun because it is very hot. Well that's both of the uh, garage doors painted inside and out, which is very nice. So all I've got left now is a little bit, I don't know if you'll see it on this light, a little bit inside the garage where the original cabin walls are. So I'll just pull everything out of there and just get that last little bit knocked in. At least it's in the shade. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> It's absolutely scorching hot again. I can't believe how hot it's coming and I'm really ready for a drink. But I do want to knock this in first before I, uh, before I do anything else. Beautiful day. Just rather be doing other things than uh, having my back to the sun painting for hours on end. But can't complain, it's good progress. Well, that's the inside done, all finished now, inside and out, which is very nice. And in this weather, it's dried pretty much straight away. So, I'll just give you a quick preview. There we go, tractor garage is done. Very nice. Well, that's the CCTV all installed, boxed in, and I've even given it a little coat of paint to match everything else. So, tractor's had a little five minute cut. He's just been resting and I've fueled him up. It's time I got myself sorted out now. I have got stuff everywhere still, so I do need a bit of a tidy up and get locked up, get the polytunnel closed down. Scorching day again today, absolutely scorching. And it's not helped painting in this weather, but it had to be done and I'm very pleased it is done. It's a really good job. Everything's looking nice. Field is looking nice where it's been cut down. Vegetable garden's growing well. And the cabin's looking very handsome with his uh, new coat of paint. So, I'm going to get tidied up and that'll be me done. Well, as usual, the day is flown by. <laughs> I really don't know what happens to time when I get down here. It just seems to shoot by at ten times the normal speed. So, cabin's looking nice and it's now new brown coat. 
quite reassuring to have a bit of CCTV up there now. Uh, I will add some more cameras to this system now. I've got it in and proved it works. Grass is looking very nice. I just keep jumping on the tractor every every day just to have an hour running around with it. Different parts of the field just to keep on top of it. Raised beds are all looking very nice. Polytunnel's locked away. So it's time to disappear again. Another day done and gone. What do you reckon then to that brown? I don't think it looks too bad at all. I don't know whether to put another coat on this front or not. Um, I suppose I'd better save some paint <laughs> for when I get round to doing the window shutters. Otherwise I'll be running round in a panic again trying to buy paint. Um, well that's it for today. New beds are out, or new pots are out. We'll see how they get on. Ah, I can't believe how hot it is again. But it is beautiful to be down here. Just on my way out and uh, I wanted to just quickly check this cherry tree I've put in, make sure the ground was still wet, which it is. Um, but I've got two apple trees here and I've just noticed something is eating them. I don't know what it can be. Can you see that or not? Something's chewing away through the bark, which is a bit bizarre. There's a branch there that's been pulled. And then similarly on this one, something's been chewing away here. Uh, now that's a bit strange to say the least because that's quite high up, that's a good couple of feet off the ground. So, not sure what that is. Deer? Could it be a deer perhaps? It's too high up to be rabbits. And I don't think squirrels come this far out on the field. Um, yeah, so, if anybody's got any ideas, let me know in the comments section. But uh, I am definitely going. <laughs> And I'll catch you all later. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found something in there that was of interest to you. If you did like the video, please do click on the like button. Also feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always, welcome any comments, questions or suggestions you might have. How's the new planting looking? Really looking forward to seeing the fig tree and the blueberry start to put on some growth and hopefully some fruit. And what about the CCTV? What's your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments section below. But for now, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.